Okay, just ate there. And now I'm headed to the museum right here. Uh, but want to kind of show you downtown uh, Bisbee here a little bit. Uh, they do have RV areas. I'd recommend booking those way in advance. So they are uh, few and far between. All the roads are very thin. And as you can see, there's no parking for an RV. So hopefully you have a scooter or something like that where you can um, ride around on. But just give you guys a heads up. Such a beautiful area. And man, there, Bisbee, nothing but steps everywhere because this was literally built, literally built on a mountain. Uh, there's so many steps everywhere you go. Uh, they actually have an event every year uh, where it's a race uh, going up and down uh, steps. So, wow, this is really cool. Check this out before we even get into the museum. This is right outside the museum. Steam hoist. Big old belt will go on this. Wow. Sheath wheel. This thing's massive. Probably 12 feet tall. Maybe 10. This is an elevator. An old elevator. Or they call it the cage, but it's it's an elevator. It's a trolling motor. Sidecar. These would dump out to the side. Receiver. Okay. I was curious what that was when I was at at the, at the tour of the mine. So this is where they would bring in the air. And here's the blower. Okay. There's a lot of gears. Engine works. Wow. And people have been using it as a cigarette butt. Trash bin. All right, let's go to the museum. This other bedroom to you right there is New York. A lot of people get back and forth, but as you can see, Oh yeah. Everybody was hooked up to electricity. Yep, yep. Yeah, copper was very important back then. Well it still is. This is also 
somebody and some thoughts that someone uh, recognized. So that's a great picture.
and growth brings problems. First hospital in 
page from 1930 and 31, Bisbee Directory, African American Reticence at Sea after their labors. Seventeen labor movement. Urban outposts kind of 
comes to age. So don't forget to go out to those steps when you do it all down. on today board. Wow. It's much bigger than I thought. Now let's go to the right. Respect. Was it worth it? I'd say so. Statue of Liberty contains 179,000 pounds of copper. Wow. That's kind of cool. Copper consumption. All these things made with copper. says you want to go uh, clean, got to go clean, green energy. Well, if it wasn't for the mines, you wouldn't have the things to make the kind of stuff either. Uh, but a lot of people have packed the mines over the years. But you got to get your resources somehow. It has to be a common ground. And those dump trucks are huge. They're like three, four men tall. Got this big old dumpsters put in there. Those cranes put in there. Tires are like probably like 15 feet, 16 feet tall. <laughs> Down the 
down in the dumps. what it looks like. Still a big open pit. a light on there but it was actually a, a flame with uh, kerosene in the back in that container and they weren't really the safest things that's how they did um did a lot of things to see down below i wouldn't want to be handling dynamite with one of those on We saw this in the in my other videos. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but here's one of the shoots um, in my other video of the mine. Uh, there's four of these and the different ore materials that come out of that shoot.
Yeah, that's going to do it for the uh, Bisbee Museum. Um, pretty incredible what a little tiny town can do. Uh, but um, look at this. It's pretty amazing. It's on the outside. I wanted to show you guys this building. It's so unique. Everything in Bisbee is unique. I'll show you around more in some other videos, but it's it's a uh, such a unique place, full of colors, a lot like a lot of the uh, gems and minerals and 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 uh, copper and everything else that is done uh, that's brought out of here from the mines. It's so colorful. Um, I highly recommend Bisbee. It is such a unique place like no other. It's cooler than uh, what it is 
uh, in Phoenix and Tucson by uh, probably uh, around 15, 10, 15 degrees cooler here because it's uh, more elevated, um, higher elevation here. Um, it, it's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous little town. Um, I can't wait to show you more. Uh, look for more videos uh, about Bisbee. And this won't be my only trip. I'll do uh, definitely more of them. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend coming to see Bisbee and come for a few days. It's going to take you a while, but it's, it's such a small town. You can literally just walk down the street and see like five million things. It, it's all unique things. It's crazy what this town is. It's gorgeous. So I highly recommend it. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. If you like this stuff uh, that I'm bringing to you um, and also theme parks and food reviews, stuff like that. I also do those too. Um, been in a drought for the uh, the uh, amusement park stuff, uh, but uh, more of that will be coming this Christmas and Halloween time. Uh, a lot of that coming. So um, if you can uh, hit the subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, it helps uh, get my channel out there too. And also if you can share to any friends or family, I uh, think uh, will enjoy this stuff. Lots of love. Peace.